Iris Chang, The Rape of Nang King, gets its premiere in Toronto on Monday. And the actress who plays Iris is Olivia Cheng. She is with me now in studio. Olivia, you watch some of those um, images. They're horrific. Uh, but, I th you know, I still don't understand really what happened. Can, can, can you help me to, to, to do that? Definitely. Um, I think to put it in context for you and other people who don't know much about uh, Nang King, a lot of us know, of course, during World War II that six million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. But a lot of people don't know that about an estimated 18 to 30 million Chinese were also killed during the same period uh, in World War II by the Japanese Imperial Army. And the way that Auschwitz represents, uh, and it is kind of the dark symbol of the Jewish Holocaust, Nanking represents and is the dark symbol of the Chinese Holocaust. And Nanking itself, what happened was 300,000 citizens um, were systematically raped, tortured, and executed over an eight-week period. And I think what people need to understand is um, it, it wasn't, it was the manner in which they were executed and tortured um, to death that, that kind of sets this event apart in a really grisly manner. This you know? fascinated Iris Chang. She wanted to know what happened and why it happened. What is it about the story that fascinated you so much that you, you had to be involved in this project? Well, I think for me it was being a Chinese Canadian and knowing nothing about it up until two years ago when I finally picked up her book and read it in its entirety. Um, I first learned about it when I was a teenager and Iris was featured on the cover of Reader's Digest and thought, wow, this is a great story. I'm going to read it one day. But it still took me another eight years to actually pick up the book and when I read it, and, and understood the scope of the event, I thought, how could I not know? And on impulse, I went on the internet and thought I'd try to Google Iris Chang. And mm -hmm. That's how I found out that at that point a year ago, she'd already committed suicide. And I think that just raised more questions about me, about Iris and about the rape of Nan King. Like, I just wanted to learn more. There had to have been a lot of tears involved in, in discovering um, what happened in Nanking, but there, there's also a sense that she had of hope and of optimism. Where does that come from? Uh, well, I think within the story, she found such incredible stories of, of, uh, of hope. You know, there survivors was, who she talked to. Survivors whom she talked to, survivors who you would think would, would have so much hate in them now, yeah. but instead, you know, speak of a place from... From, from peace and of hope and, and, and them wanting their stories to get out there in order to not see it happen again. And I think in meeting them, she, she, she had a personal crusade to carry out. And also, I mean, within uh, the story of Nanking, she found incredible stories of foreign missionaries, a, a, a group of about 20 of them, mm -hmm. who faced off against 50,000 Japanese soldiers to create an international safety zone to effectively save the remaining half of the Nanking population. They saved about 250,000 people alone, 20 of them. They weren't soldiers, they were missionaries and foreigners who decided to stay in Nanking and, and help people. You know, so there were, there were just so many incredible stories in this that she really did want the message of hope to get out to the world. As you played the role, and you know, we all tend to think that uh, people who are acting are just doing that, they're acting, but I want to know from you if there was a personal involvement, uh, you know, that, that, uh, that, that made you give it your best shot because you cared about it so much. Yeah, I mean, because I was so personally fascinated with Iris Chang and uh, decided to go out on my own to research Iris Chang even before knowing yeah. about this project, even before getting involved with this film, it meant a lot to me. You know, I mean, basically as an actor, you all dream about having some incredible title role one day, but to have my first title role be my dream title role right off the top, I definitely felt like a... I don't know, I guess like a personal responsibility to do my absolute best, especially because this is a story that means so much to the Chinese community and, and has uh, the um, potential to cross over into the mainstream community and, and educate them and raise awareness about a story that so many people just don't know about. You know, why don't more people know about this? Ah, it's, there's no simple black and white answer, but, um, you know, right after the... I mean, in, in China, you look at the political situation. Right after the rape of Nanking happened, right after this Holocaust happened, the Cultural Revolution happened. So it threw the government into this huge turmoil, and 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 it, it kind of 
it, it, things were forgotten. Mm -hmm. and I mean, I think what, what's amazing to me is that the rape of Nan King was front page news at the time in the Western world. It was the front page of the New York Times, the Chicago Tribune, uh, a Life magazine ran stories and pictorials about it, and yet it was completely forgotten in the Western world because then the Cold War happened, and now the United States was willing to mm -hmm. kind of uh, look past what Japan did in World War II because now they needed uh, an, an ally against the communists. You know what, Olivia? I just want to know one final thing from yeah. you, and that is, how did the, how did it change you when you entered this process and you finished the project, the film? Uh, how did it change your cultural identity, if you will? I learned so much about my cultural identity in, in ways I wouldn't even imagine. Like it was through this film, I got to go back to China for the first time, and to see the social and economic conditions of a lot of the people who live there, to see the poverty that they come from, really made me understand how my grandparents' behaviors have been shaped and how that has been passed on to my parents. Mm -hmm. and how it, it really, honestly, really made me understand that I've been born with a million dollars in my mouth to be born in Canada, you know, and, and, and um, to really understand what it means to be Chinese and, and Chinese Canadian. I want to understand it too, so it sounds like a great project to watch. Iris Chang, The Rape of Nanking, as I mentioned, gets its premiere in Toronto on Monday. Thank you so much. Thank you.